Hello guys, welcome to HVAC Startup Technicians and we're doing the AC today and today I'm going to teach you how to read your manifold gauge which is very important. I know a lot of guys like the fancy gauge but I think to really understand we should try to understand how to read this manifold gauge. Um, because what about what happened if your battery runs out of power or something like that and you have to go back to the original manifold gauge so I'm going to go through the steps and show you how to read it also what so I have here I have the pipe temperature I'm taking here I have T1 and T2 if I did I'm on T1 which is my liquid line pressure so you could actually take your line temperature from here but we're going to look at the pressures and how to understand the manifold gauge so this is the red sign is always our liquid so we got to make sure that we connect our gauges right which is the red line for our liquid should go to the low side which is the smaller ports and the blue line which is for our vapor should be go to the bigger port or the vapor port so let's take a look at first the liquid line most on those manifold gauges what you will see is your refrigerant so we have 4 4 here we have what we got here like 410 right here and we got r22 on this system we are using refrigerant 410 so we got to look at this gauge here but first let's let's concentrate here what our pressure is so we see here our pressure this is 200 any one of those smaller that is five so i would say we at 210 approximately 210 pressure now we want to look at our suction our suction i said since we're in this gauge here because we're working with 410 this is the refrigerant different type of refrigerant and we're at around 70 or more like 72 one of those is 70 in the two 70 72 74 those are the dots goes in the twos the top goes in five so we are at 210 up here for our pressure and we are at 70 70 for or 72 for our saturation this is called saturation let's take a look at our liquid um, our vapor side now we just did a liquid and we're gonna take a look at our vapor port. Our vapor port, this is a hundred. I know the, the gauge is a little bit being through a lot, so five, ten, fifteen. So we are at 120 for our vapor. We're at 120, and then we look at our refrigerant, which is 410, and we're at 40. So that's a good way how to read our manifold gauge. So I just wanted to go through the steps to show you guys which is very important the regular manifold gauge and I think I know we all go with the fancy gauge but I think it's really important that we learn how to read this manifold gauge and um, this is the furnace here in a minute I'll be taking some pressures which will maybe be done in another video I'll be taking the line the voltage of the different lines as I go forward um, this here is where I make my connections um, this is my thermostat wire coming in. Um, I'm in Delaware, so here they use white and red. You connect that. Um, this is my contactor folding. Disconnect. And um, one more thing. Uh, what, what are we looking at here now? We're looking at a three ton unit. And you could tell it's a three ton by that 36 right here. Alright, guys. So just want to show you guys how to do that. Thank you for watching the video again. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. Alright, thank you.